YouTube, what's going on? You're back with the Gentleman's Look. For those who's new to the channel, my name is Devon Darby, and uh, this channel is basically designed to help gentlemen uh, become better men, understand how to how to uh, be the best that they can be out here in society, understand how to dress better, how to practice spirituality, how to think better for themselves, and better take care of their, of their families as men are supposed to. Uh, so what we talk about is a little bit of everything: style, spirituality. Uh, we're going to get into relationships, we're going to get into um, mannerisms and things like that. But today we're going to be focused on pocket squares. Um, a lot of individuals may know what pocket squares are, but they're pretty much uh, some fabric that is used as an accessory for your sports coats or your um, dress uh, suit jackets or they call them um, blazers. And you just put a piece of fabric in here just to add as an accessory to give your outfit a little bit more style, a little bit more personality. Um, some people say, is it really necessary uh, for you to wear these um, pocket squares? But to me, I think you should never really have a pocket, uh, a blazer or a sports coat without a uh, pocket square because it just looks a little naked. Just to show you what I mean, if I take this out, it doesn't look bad, you know, it doesn't look bad at all, but for someone who really understands style and understands the, uh, the, the the nature of a gentleman, it looks a little naked, you know? So if you just add add a little pocket square, then it just gives it a little, you know what I'm saying? It just gives it a little bit more, more flair to your outfit. You look more neat and put together. So is it something that you have to wear? No. If you don't want to wear pocket squares, you don't have to. You can use your sports coats the way it is. But um, if you want to add a little bit of style, you know, to, uh, to your outfit and show that you, you kind of know what you're doing, then you, then you add it in there. It just, I, I think it's, it just looks naked without it. <laughs> so we'll move on. Um, now, there's different types of pocket squares. Um, as you can see, you know, this is, this is over time. I'm not asking anybody to go out there and, and purchase, you know, as many pocket squares as you, as you can. I purchased these over time. You have some medallion style pocket squares. Um, you have some paisleys. I'm sorry. You have some paisley pocket squares, polka dots. One of my favorites. If you're someone who's more subtle and you're not so fancy and kind of want to keep things kind of mild, you can get the solid pocket squares, but have the ones that have the uh, borders around it. So this is an all white one, but it has the black border around it. And there's so many different things you can do with this, which I'll, I'll show you later on. Um, you have satin ones, satin pocket squares, the satin material which is more shiny, it's more for like a formal event, um, this is something that you would wear probably to a wedding, you know, or anything that's really, really formal, because, you know, the shiny satin just speaks, uh, you know, formal attires, and so on and so forth, there's so many different pocket squares out there, you have suede, you know, you play around with them and find out which one, you know, best suits your style. But yeah, uh, pocket squares are definitely, it's, it's fun. It's just something that you can um, just just play around with it, add some spice to your outfit. Um, today I'm going to show you some of the, the pocket square folds that I do. Um, this one right here is called the presidential fold. It's usually straight across. And this is when you're doing something like uh, going to a business meeting or you're, you're dealing with something that's more serious and you don't want a lot of attention being uh, drawn to you and you'll do a presidential fold and it's just squared across all right um they have so many different folds the crown fold uh i would say the the, the rose fold um the puff so i'm going to show you how to do some of those these are the ones that i use there's so many out there but i only use a certain few so i'm going to show you how to do that today all right uh, let's get into it all right so first we're going to show i'm going to show you how to do the uh presidential fold again this is for a more serious um environment where you don't want to be too too flashy you don't want too much attention you just want to be as professional as possible so what you're going to do is you're going to take the pocket square you're going to fold from right to left and sometimes you might want to iron it if it's cotton material just to so it's easier to manage and then you're going to fold from right to left again like a half an inch away from the edge Alright, now what you're going to do is fold from the bottom to the top. Now you're almost done. But what happens is, if you leave it like this and you try to put it into your pocket, it's going to be a little too wide. So you want to kind of 
measure or not measure but kind of gauge how wide your pocket is what I do is I fold it a little bit like this so that it fits into my pocket easy, easily and then I fold this up just a little bit now this end goes into my pocket for the presidential fold so it looks like it looks like this all right uh, some people like to have the edges showing, so they'll fold it in their pocket and it'll look like that. But if I'm trying to look really neat, classy, not too fussy, I like to have the, the, the uh, side that doesn't have the edges showing folded in my pocket so that it's neatly across. So it looks like that. Alright? And you just stick it in your pocket. You'll stick this in down into your pocket. Next I'm going to show you the crown fold. The crown fold is pretty simple as well. You're going to make a triangle, take one edge, come up to the other point. Now you have a triangle. You're going to take this side, the right point, and you're going to fold it over to the left point. Okay? Now you have two points. You're going to take this one, and you're going to fold it over, so that now you have three points. See the three points? Now what you gotta do is you gotta make this more, you gotta square this off so that it can fit into your pocket. So what I do is I usually fold it like that. Right? And then I fold it up to get it into the pocket. Once I get into the pocket, it will look something like this. That'll be like your crown, this is called the crown fold. Okay? fold. Next I'm going to show you the puff. You have two styles. You have the puff and the inverted puff. The puff is pretty much you're going to take your hand and put your hand in the middle of the pocket square. You're going to pinch the top. Make a little circle and just come down like this. Now you have the puff. Some people like the puff more oval. Some people like it more wide. You can make it more wide. Right? What you're going to do is fold the bottom up and then you stick this piece into your uh, sports coat or your blazer and now you it will look like this. That's the puff. Now the same way the inverted puff you would pinch it the same way and you would fold this bottom part up but you would make it show I like this because it shows off all of your pocket squares. So now you have the puff showing as well as the other end showing of your pocket square. So it looks like this. You're really showing off all of your pocket square, which I love, especially when you have a highly decorated pocket square like a paisley. Then you have what I call the rose uh, fold. So you make your hand like a little cup, put it under. Put your index finger and push it all the way down until you can grip it, you know, at the bottom a little bit. Then you would take all of the fabric and just keep bunching them together. Just keep bunching them in a circle. Keep bunching them. Keep bunching them. Still gripping the bottom until you get something that looks like a like a rose. You see how that kind of looks like a rose? If this was a, a red blazer, uh, excuse me, a red um, pocket square, you would really see in detail how this looks like a rose with the swirls. The bottom part you would stick into your sports coat and it would show like this pretty much. You see how that looks like a rose? Hope you guys can see that. Alright. So these are the um, folds that I use. There's so many different folds but these are the ones that I use and they're very simple. Um, some people are high, some people are fast learners. But if you find yourself having some trouble, just continue to work on it, continue to practice. Watch the video several times. And before you know it, you'll be doing it like the way you tie your shoes. Uh, hopefully you, you know how to tie your shoes right now. <laughs> All right, but um, very simple. These are my pocket square folds, and I hope they are useful to you to add some spazzass, you know, some uh, style to your outfits, and you'll be looking like a gentleman in no time. All right, all right, guys. Again, you're back with the gentleman's look. So um, I just wanted to show you real quickly how these uh, folds look in the pocket. You guys already seen how the presidential fold looks, so you know what that's used for. 
Everything else that you can use in any environment, you know, it could be used as casual form, whatever you want to do. But the presidential fold is more of a serious fold. So I'm just going to show you real quick how the uh, puff looks. So again, I'm just doing this real quick so that you guys can get an understanding of what I was saying. All right. So this is this is the puff. All right. That's how the puff will look. I see that. Now I'm going to show you the inverted puff, which is one of which is my favorite, to be honest with you. Presidential is probably the least favorite because it's really simple and um, very very basic. I'm not a really basic type of person, but uh, I use them when necessary. All right, inverted puff, guys. All right, you see how whenever you put your pocket square inside of your um, pocket, always pinch. Don't pinch your fabric or your blazer too much, but just kind of like press down on the bottom so you can lock it in. Uh, there's so many different uh, accessories out there that you can put your pocket squares in and then put them in your pocket. Um, but if you just want to stay classic, the way they used to do it back in the days before they invented all of these things, just pinch the bottom a little bit, press it down. It should hold it in place. You know what I mean? This is the inverted pocket, uh, inverted puff. See how you have the other end of the uh, puff showing and you also have the puff? This is my favorite. All right, I'm going to show you the crown fold, three-point crown fold. I'm trying to do this as quick as possible for you guys. I'm walking you through the whole process of the video. I ain't hiding nothing from you. But the whole point is for you guys to learn this and be comfortable, you know, messing up every now and then as you're learning. All right? Okay, I don't know how this looks on camera, but for me it looks like it's pretty good. This is the three crown, the three uh, points. Can you see them? I'm asking you guys like you can actually tell me if you see it or not. <laughs> but yeah, this is the three, I hope you can see it, three points. One, two, three. Crown fold. Alright. Uh, was there another one that I forgot to show you guys? Oh, the rose. And I'm using the red one. So you can kind of see it. All right. Take your index finger, point down, and you keep gripping and gripping and gripping and gripping and gripping and gripping and gripping. Right. All right. So that's the rose. I probably would have to come a little closer for you to see that. But anybody who's up on you, who's all up in your face, they will definitely know you got the rose going on there. So I hope you can see the, the rose that the rose kind of shows. And to me, this is really, really elegant. I would use this at a wedding or if you're in an environment of love or, you know, a nice little dinner. Uh, this is a real elegant, sexy fold for you to use. Um, Trust me, everybody will feel it. it it's just something about the fold that just makes people, ah, uh, you know, you look real, <laughs> you look real sexy with this one, man. I like it. All right. So again, you're watching the gentleman's look. Uh, again, my name is Devon Darby. For all of those who are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell uh, so that you can be informed of all of the videos that I post. Again, I'm, I'm doing some good stuff over here. I'm trying to help. Uh, individuals men become you know just better men and better gentlemen you know i want us to rise like kings that we are you know and not just talk about it but actually be about it everything that we do from the way we dress from the way we speak the way we think the way we uh treat out the way we have our relationships to money uh the way we view money the way we um view each other and how we deal with each other i just want all of that to change to reflect you know who god intended us to be I'm no preacher, man, anything like that, and I'm, I'm, I'm helping you guys, and I'm also helping myself, but I'm creating this brotherhood so that we can really be kingsmen, and not just the movie. <laughs> I'm talking about, like, real, real kings out here, man, because that's what we're going to do. That's what we're destined to be, and we're going to get it done, man, but I need your help. I need you guys to get involved. Uh, talk to me about topics that you want to discuss, no matter what it is, if I don't already know about it with my own intellect i will research and get more information and come back with you on, on that topic but um 
I'm looking to discuss everything and show you everything. Everything that I know and everything that I'm continuing to learn. Alright, so again, I love you guys. Please subscribe to the channel. This is The Gentleman's Look. We covered uh, pocket squares today. And I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'll see you. Send you